Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. I'm Sean again, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about one step equation word problems. Alright? If I was given this word problem, Lisa is cooking muffins. The recipe calls for seven cups of sugar. She has already put in two cups. How many more cups does she need to put in? Okay. So one thing I tell us that we already, uh, the recipe calls for seven cups of sugar. So there's seven cups. Okay. That seven cups is going to equal, has to equal the amount of cups that she's already put in, which is two cups. Okay. And then how many more cups she needs to put in. All right, it's called C. And now we just have to solve for C. To get that, well, we're adding 2 to it, so opposite of addition, subtraction. So you subtract 2 cups to both sides, right? And that's giving, or leaving us here, right, with C by itself, the number of cups that we need to add in. Well, 7 minus 2 is 5, so 5 cups is our final answer. At a restaurant, Mike and his three friends decided to divide the bill evenly. If each person paid $13, then what was the total bill? So, we know that each person paid $13. So each person here paid $13, all right? If the total bill, let's call that B, was divided evenly between Mike and his three friends, a total of four ways, we now have an equation, $13 each person, equals a total bill divided by four ways. So let's go solve this. Well, we're dividing by four. Opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply four to both sides. This will give me B by itself, the total bill. Four times 13 is 52. And so our final answer, our total bill is just $52. How many packages of diapers can you buy with $40 if one package costs $8? So, with that information, we want to come up with an equation. Now, they tell us here that how many packages can we buy with $40? So, with $40, how many packages can we buy? So, $40 is going to equal, all right, the cost of each package, $8, multiplied by the number of packages, P, okay? And so, now we want to solve for p. Now p is being multiplied by 8, so opposite of multiplication is division. So if you divide both sides by $8, on the right, 8 is cancel, giving us p by itself. Now $40 divided by $8 is 5. So excuse me, 5 is the number of packages that we can purchase, right, for $40. Last Friday, Trayvon had $29. Over the weekend, he received some money for cleaning the attic. He now has $41. How much money did he receive? So, what I want to do is take that information right there, okay, and create an equation, all right? So, they told us here that he now has $41. That's the kind of our, our key thing. So, I have $41 here. Now, they said last Friday he had $29, and he received money over the weekend. So, that total, right? $41, that's going to be equal to his initial $29 plus the amount he had of money, right, that he received over the weekend. So, the initial amount, $29, plus the money over the weekend is equal to a total of $41. Now, I want to see how much he received over the weekend. Well, we're adding $29 there, opposite of addition, subtraction. So, if I subtract $29 to both sides, all right? We're left with, this cancels here, M by itself, which represents the money he made over the weekend, and 41 minus 29 is 12. So he made $12 over the weekend. Last week, Julia ran 30 miles more than Pranav. Julia ran 47 miles. How many miles did Pranav run? So what I want to do is create an equation with that information. Now, they tell us that Julia ran 30 more miles than Prana. So 30 miles plus the number of miles Prana ran is equal to how much Julia ran, and they said it was 47 miles. All right? So 30 miles plus P equals 47. Now we want to solve for P. Well, 
opposite addition, subtraction. So we subtract 30 miles to both sides. And that leaves us, right, 30 is cancel. P, representing the number of miles up front of ramp, and 47 minus 30 is 17. So we have 17 miles is our final answer. How many boxes of envelopes can you buy with $12 if one box costs $3? With that information, I want to create an equation. So $12 being the number of money I want to be able to see how much or total money I have, okay? How much or how much I can how many boxes of envelopes can I buy for $12 equals the cost of each uh, box of envelope, which is $3. And we'll multiply that by the number of boxes. So we're going to label that B. So B, number of boxes, times $3. We can see how much we can get for $12. Now let's solve for B. We're multiplying B by $3. So opposite of multiplication is division. Divide both sides by 3. And I'm left with B by itself. Now $12 divided by 3 is 4. And so my final answer here is 4 boxes of envelopes. Amanda and her best friend found some money buried in a the field. They split the money evenly, each getting $24.28. How much money did they find? So we want to create an equation here. Now they told us at the end of all this, they each got $24.28, and uh, 28 cents, excuse me, 28 cents. Make sure we have some clarity here, 28 cents, all right? Now, that amount is equal to the total amount that they found, which we don't know, so we label it M. And they said that total amount was divided evenly. Well, there's two of them, Amanda and her friend, so we divide that by two. So now we have the total money found divided by two equals to that $24.28. So now let's solve for M, the total amount. I multiply two to both sides. Why do I do that? Well, if I'm divided by two, opposite of division is multiplication. Right? So what that does is eliminate the 2 on the right, giving me m by, by itself, what we want to find. 2 times 2428 is $48.56. And so that is our final answer, the total money they found buried in the field. Jenny wants to buy an MP3 player that costs $30.98. How much change does she receive if she gives the cashier $40? So, there's many ways you can set up the word problem here or the equation for it, but we wanna, that's what we want to do. All right? So, we'll really see what makes sense here. The cost of the MP3 player, $30.98, plus the change that Jenny will receive equals a total of that $40. Now, there's many ways you can rearrange it, but that's the way we kind of chose to do it here. So, $40 is what they gave the cashier. There's a cost of $30.98, and we find the total change. So the Cost of the MP3 player plus a change should equal the $40. To get C by itself, I'm going to subtract $30.98 to both sides. We're adding it, opposite addition, subtraction, right? So $30.98. This should equal the number, the amount of change that Jenny will receive. Well, 40 minus 38.98 is $9.02. And so that's our final answer, the amount of change that Jenny received. Last Friday, Adam had $22.33. Over the weekend, he received some money for cleaning the attic. He now has $32. How much money did he receive? All right. So we want to create an equation from this. They told us last Friday, Adam had $22.33. Now, over the weekend, he received some money for cleaning the attic, right? So if we add the number of money, he made over the weekend, that should equal now what he has, $32. All right. Now that we have this equation, we want to solve for M, the amount of money he received over the weekend for cleaning the attic. Opposite of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract a 22, 33 to both sides. What this does, right, we're going to eliminate this, gives me M by myself here, or by itself. <laughs> All right, that's the number of how much money he made over the weekend cleaning the attic, which came out to be 32 minus 22, 33, is 
after paying $5.12 for a salad. Norachi has $27.10. How much money did he have before buying the salad? So, we want to create an equation with that, okay? The money he had before buying the salads we want to find. So his total uh, money, initial money, right, M, subtracted by the cost of the salad, $5.12. All right? That's going to be equal to how much he has after paying for the salad. That's $27.10. Okay? Now we want to solve for M, his initial amount of money. Well, we're subtracting 512 from there, so opposite of subtraction is addition. So if we add $5.12 to both sides, what that does, it eliminates the 512 on the left, giving me M, the total amount of money Norashi has in the beginning, and then 2710 plus 512 comes out to be $32.22. And there we have our final answer. A recipe for cookies calls for three and one quarter cups of sugar. Amy has already put in three and one ninth cups. How many more cups does she need to put in? What I want to do is create an equation with that information. So the recipe calls for a total of three and one quarter cups of sugar. All right. Now they tell us that Amy has already put in three and one ninth cups. And we want to see how much more does she need to put in. All right, so let's call that C. So 3 and 1 ninth cups plus C, the amount of sugar, cups of sugar she needs to add in, should equal 3 and 1 quarter cups. We want to get C by itself. Well, it's being added by 3, 19, uh, 3 and 1 ninth here, not 3 19, 3 and 1 ninth. So opposite of addition is subtraction. 3 and 1 ninth cups. Now, if you're like me and thinking, who the heck has a 1 ninth of a cup? Uh, measuring <laughs> cup or whatever, but, you know, I guess it's, it's a math problem here, right? So we subtract three and one ninth cups to both sides. That eliminates the three and one ninth on the right, giving me C, the number of cups that Amy needs to add of sugar, uh, on the right by itself. Now three and one quarter cups minus three and one ninth cups comes out to be five and 36 cups of sugar. And so there we have our final answer five and 36 cups of sugar. Your mother gave you $13.32 with which to buy a present. This covered three-fifths of the cost. How much did the present cost? So, the cost of the present, let's write an equation here, the cost of the present, P, times three-fifths will equal the amount of money your mother gave you, which is $13.32 sense. All right. So now with that information here, right, we have an equation we need to solve for P. Now we're multiplying by three fifths when we get P by itself. If we multiply that by the reciprocal five thirds and do that to both sides of the equation, this eliminates the threes cancel, the fives cancel, and this gets us one P by itself, which represents the cost of the present. Now 1332 times five thirds comes out to be $22.20, which now is, we found, the cost of the present. If the weight of a package is multiplied by 5 sevenths, the result is 40.5 pounds. Find the weight of the package. So, they tell us the weight of the package, W, if it's multiplied by 5 sevenths, we know the result is 40.5 pounds. Okay, 40.5 pounds. We need to find the weight of the package. All right, with that information, we have our equation here. Now we want to solve for W, the weight of the package. Well, it's being multiplied by 5 sevenths. To eliminate that 5 sevenths, we can multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 7 fifths. In doing so, the sevenths cancel, 5s cancel, and we're left with W, the weight of the package by itself. Now, 40 pounds times 7 fifths comes out to be 56.7 pounds. And so there we have our final answer, 56.7 pounds. A stray dog ate 12 of your muffins. That was three-tenths of them all. How, with how many did you start? Okay. Well, the stray dog here ate 12 of our muffins, right? And we found out it was three-tenths, okay? So the initial amount of muffins that we want to find, M, 
they told us if we multiply that by three tenths, we will get the amount of muffins the stray dog ate, 12. Now we have an equation. With that information here, we have to solve that equation. Now, multiply by 3 tenths. To eliminate that, I can multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 10 thirds. In doing so, the 3 tenths cancels on the left, giving me m by itself on the left, which is the total number of muffins that we started with. Um, 12 times 10 thirds comes out to be 40. And so 40 muffins is how many we had before that stray dog ate 12. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com